at you. This is the eighth wonder of the world. Welcome, YouTubers. It's another day in paradise. Um, uh, today's episode is going to be on how to invest $1,000 in the stock market with the Robinhood mobile app. So I'm going to show you, if you're a beginner and you want to invest, you have 1000 you know what to do it, check this out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and log into my Robinhood account. So looking at a stock to uh, purchase. Before I jump into our episode, uh, this is my current um, portfolio. I'm at uh, 7,354. Um, I'm up 6.68 percent, which is my all from beginning till till today. So um, if you guys are traders, you know you you know you guys look at the live, the one day, one week, one month, three month, one year. Um, I'm not a, I'm not about that life and that stress. So, um, my strategy is simple. Um, pretty much, as you can see, uh, my portfolio. Uh, I am currently um, I am an investor in cryptocurrency. Um, my next cryptocurrency I have 956 Dodge Coin, and then one Ethereum Classic. I plan on buying Bitcoin. Just ten dollars, so don't lose your britches um, over, you know, investing in cryptocurrency. I just believe in the technology and I want to understand it. So I'm putting ten dollars into each of these cryptocurrencies that Robinhood has, because I know before I was trying to buy uh, Bitcoin, and I ran into an issue with the 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 cryptocurrency brokerage. So with the cryptocurrency brokerage, they charged me like I. Um, was just doing a test run. I just wanted to hold some uh, Bitcoin, but I sent ten dollars to I think it was Coinbase, and they pretty much just for fees and transfers they they took off like four dollars. I mean six dollars, more than half. And I was like, that you know. And now they have this Robinhood where they have currencies. You know, if any of you guys that you know are curious about it, definitely jump on a Robinhood. And and buy five dollars worth, even a dollar if you you know, if you don't even want to go that risky. But I, I usually do ten dollars um for each cryptocurrency. But with Bitcoin when it goes down to three thousand I've been watching it now for a month. So if it goes back to three thousand and eight hundred, it's been teeter tottering between three three thousand eight hundred to uh, up until like four thousand. So I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna buy throw my ten dollars in I want to throw it in when it's down at 3,800, just like how I invest in the stock market. Same principles apply. So for any of you guys um, curious about cryptocurrency, don't be afraid. Jump on Robinhood and invest a dollar, five bucks, two dollars, whatever. Me, I, I just chose ten dollars, you know, because I know of the I know it's speculative, but but also there's a possibility that. That the certain, I mean, with this blockchain technology, I, you know, I believe in it. So I'm like, okay, if I want to, if I believe in it, let me, I want to invest in it. But the only, only type of investment I can make now, now into it is through uh, these actual cur- cryptocurrencies. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven cryptocurrencies that you can buy and you have to go through a, um, cryptocurrency exchange which they're going to charge you an arm and leg just just for transfers and fees i mean it was ridiculous and and people were really um and that's what threw me off with even investing i should have started investing a long time ago even if you know doing a trade cost you know back then it was like 20 30 dollars but i didn't know the value of what what was actual the uh the stock market i got involved with mutual funds but I wind up at the end of it. I think the highest I ever got was like six thousand. And then what I did once, you know, I, I went through a stage of my life where I needed money, so I I took it all out again. And I think I went on a vacation with it. So um, it's not like how I'm thinking now, like hold for the long term. You know, this is pretty much um, I'm getting this started, so I could pass this on to my kids. You know, even though I don't 
reach my goal and I know I will now that I have a purpose. It just seems like I have more of a purpose. I know lately I haven't been in the mood, you know, um, to do any YouTube videos or just, I just, I don't know if it's because we're going, we're transitioning from winter into spring. Um, but I, you know, today I was, I was like, I got to put out something and, um, I just, what I want to talk about is how to invest a thousand dollars for a beginner. Everybody's have the, has their theories, but my theory is pretty much, um, it's foolproof me and my experience with life. Um, so what I would do with a, with a thousand dollars, I would invest, uh, $600 into stocks. $300 in index funds, and then $100 into ETFs. And I'll break that down for anybody that's not understanding. Pretty much what I had to learn was the stocks at first. Then once I understood stocks and the two categories that they come from, then I had to, I'm still learning about index funds, but there's so many different categories and index funds and ETFs are mixed into it that, you know, it'll confuse you. Um, but usually index funds and ETFs, they're the same type of account. If you get a mutual fund, it's different. Mutual funds are ran by actual managers that they get paid a commission, a fee. And index funds and ETFs, they're pretty much, they run just like a stock. So, and then REITs, they're real estate um, companies that, that by law, um, they have to pay monthly dividends. So that's the, another reason why... Um, Pretty much, I'm a firm believer. I know a lot of other um, investors. They talk about keep some money on the sidelines or, you know, to buy in. But me personally, I like every single penny that's in my portfolio working and not on the sidelines. I mean, I have, I have that account for the sidelines to buy one of those companies that are like at a thousand. But just that. But other than that, I don't let nothing sit, um, more than the side. You know, the money that that. I have my eyes set on like companies with higher valuations, like a thousand or more. So we usually, I usually what I do to buy those type companies each month, I just put a uh, hundred dollars into it until I hit that thousand, and then I and then I purchase it. Well, I wait for the dip and then I purchase. But if I had like say dividends coming in, um, I would immediately take those dividends and buy other companies that are on my watch list. So, and that's pretty much. Uh, my strategy on how I'm investing for 2019 and that also that concept in um, my strategy is gave me it gave me confidence to start uh, um, buying cryptocurrency so now I can get used to it the thing that threw me off about cryptocurrency is um, is that they run 24 7 it doesn't stop so like it, it, see how it just shot up I mean, it's green, so it, it, it doesn't, we're going into the weekend, so now the market's closed. So these cryptocurrencies are going to be working, you know. Yeah, this is like uh, a total of $10, $5 for, I, I invested like $2 in Dogecoin, I think like $5 in Ethereum uh, Classic. So I got just one and 956 but I, I, I want to add, I want to make those two $10 worth that I'm investing, and then the rest of them $10. And then and then watch it just see how it fluctuate, but right now um, the market is closed, so it, it what you see is what you get. So it's not is there's no movement, so it's closed. Um, pretty much as a financial engineer, I'm a sector investor. Um, what what that is, I just invest in. I don't double up on companies yet. I pretty I want to buy companies in different sectors: the water sector, electricity, um, supermarket, uh, travel, financial, uh, uh, transportation. Um, I have like fifty sectors that I created that I've broken. I've broken down pretty much the companies to my understanding, instead of like the Wall Streets where they have discretionary items and consumer goods and. I just, I mean, it just feels so bland to me. Like I've even went even more in detail on what companies really are and, and look at their sectors and analyze it from that perspective. So, so as, as I was saying, I'm a sector investor. I have 87 assets under management. My strategy for 2019 is, okay, 
I'm showing you guys my how to invest a thousand dollars in the stock market with the Robinhood app or any other apps that you guys use. M1, um, any pretty much professional fidelity, uh, E-Trade. So this applies to any. This is a concept. So it it applies to any of this. Um, make your make your money work for you. So I mean in the in the deepest sense, like and the way you'll see it working, it's gonna give you it's gonna bring you joy. So my strategy for 2019 is 60% stocks, which is uh, $600, and the the stocks are. I group them up into two categories. The first one is fast growth valuation with no dividends because the company reinvests the dividends back into the company. And that's put and that'll be 30, 30%, $300 of the, the 600. And those are typically all your FANG stocks, your Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google. Uh, the second category is uh, slow growth valuation with dividends, and that's the other 30%. That's just the other $300. And examples are McDonald's, 3M, Lockheed Martin. So those are the uh, slow growth valuation companies. Um, the second sector is of my portfolio is 30% index funds, which is $300. So that, that puts me at $900 of that 1000 and I will invest in iShares, SPDR, and S&P, and Vanguard. And pretty much I'll go with 150 with uh, those choices. And then including precious metals ETF, $50. Buyback ETFs, another $50. And then bonds ETFs, the remaining $50, which are bond ETFs are known to offset stocks in a bear down market. So pretty much all this, that 30% of my portfolio is there to pretty much glue everything together. That This is pretty much my down market um, sector. So um, it's, it, it's like my fertilizer to keep everything, even when my plants are not receiving you know, sunlight and water that that in index funds will moisture not give it the nutrients it needs to keep growing, whether we're still in the down market. That's how I analyze it. And then last but not least is the 10% REITs, which is the remaining $100 of the thousand. And they're known for div- uh, monthly dividends. And my strategy on this is I've, I've been noticing that um, stocks that pay dividends and index funds, majority of the index funds and ETFs, they pay dividends quarterly. So it's like you still have that in between months to play with. And now I want to find a strategy to start building with those months that I'm because you're getting every three months, you're getting the big payouts. So we just had one in March. We had big pay. I know I did the first time I received ten dollars. You know, it's the first time receiving, you know, to me, I'm like, wow, I hit ten bucks. OK, next next goal, next uh, six months or the next quarter quarter two, um, $20, you know, and then three months from there, every three, I just go up 10, I start, um, uh, investing so I get 10, $10 more every three months. So that's my strategy in, in dividends. So before I know it, I'll, I'll be at a hundred every three months and then keep going from there and just keep building in that aspect. And then with those dividends, buy more companies. So the compounding effect will just boom, boom. It'll just weigh on me, weigh on me, weigh on me. So that's how you invest a thousand dollars in the stock market with with the Robinhood mobile app. Remember, sixty percent stocks, which is six hundred dollars. Thirty percent index funds, including precious metals, ETF buyback, ETFs and bonds, ETF. That's the three. That's three hundred dollars and a hundred dollars. 10% for your REITs. So that's the thousand. Outro. Show your support by subscribing. Comment any questions or recommendations you have. Hit the like button and share this information with curious friends and family members. Until next time, let your compound interests speak for you. Alexa, smile. <laughs>